Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, Drown Boy Cosplay, and it has come the time for the unboxing of the Unholy Grail. As you know, uh, throughout the last week or two, I've been selling off some pretty awesome pieces to raise money. To begin with, it was something different, but since that kind of fell through, so I decided to get something else entirely. And uh, it's pretty cool, and I'm going to be showing you guys what that is here now. Wait, but first, another small unboxing for you guys. This package comes from my good friend, Jamie. Jamie, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this for you guys, and then we'll get to the Holy Grail. Before it falls out, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Very cool. Wow, that is just gorgeous. We have an absolutely beautiful Asus Scream Mask. Looks to be in like perfect condition. No spots on the face, no misshapen parts. Very clean. We got a little bit of a little bit of a shred right there at the very back, which is very, very common for all masks with shrouds like this because when people go to take them off, they tend to either rip and or separate. Thank you very, very much, Jamie, for this gift. It will stay in my collection forever. Now on to the unholy grail. Now the box arrived in a little bit damaged condition. I think everything inside will be fine, but it could be, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and, I haven't opened this. It's just, it was already basically separated. So, uh, got a little Scott Blake sticker here from Your Dream Creations, little heart there. Uh, we love Scott Blake over here at Drown Boy. Go ahead and open that up the rest of the way and Justin, holy fuck. All right, so if you guys don't know, <laughs> if you don't get this, you really should. Uh, it says every waking hour, and it's, uh, it shows a picture of Barry Manilow, uh, which if you guys don't get that reference, I guess since the beans have already been spilled, I may as well tell you. Uh, there's a song by Tobias's old band, Subvision, called Scenario. Uh, probably my favorite song from that album, so far, so noir. And, uh, there's just a line that for some reason says every waking hour I see Barry Manilow. Now Justin did something pretty funny with this. He went ahead and put a little Barry Manilow sticking out of his uh, suit whenever he met Papa, which was absolutely hilarious. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up the rest of the way. Let's see here. Okay, so he said there'd be some extras in here. So this seems to be an extra. Now I know, it, okay, there's something inside. Now this is the Popstar VIP bag from the very first leg of the tour. I actually have one over there from whenever I saw them, but let's see what's inside. I'm just gonna reach in and pull stuff out. Okay, this is very cool. I've actually been wanting to get some of this. So this is some of my buddy Scott's scented oils. This is the Mummy Dust scent. This is one of his full bottles. These are supposed to be like very, very good smelling. And uh, I wanted to get some to wear, oh wow. What does that smell like? Okay. It almost smells like bubble gum, as strange as that is. It says amber and other natural oils, and uh, that's as far as it goes in the description. Do not take internally, not for vaping. <laughs> I'm gonna vape this shit, boy. Always test a small spot on the skin, and uh, you guys can get this at www.yourdream.com. Next up, we have a bag of seven of the buttons that are used for Papa 3's Death of Stair suit. As far as I know, these are supposed to be pretty hard to find, so big thank you, Justin, for sending me these. I'm pretty sure, I mean, they look accurate as far as I can tell. Yeah, I mean, these are the ones. They appear to be plastic, so I'm not sure if his are or if they're metal. They may be metal, it's hard to tell. They look plastic, they look like costume jewelry. Yeah, they're definitely plastic. But if you guys haven't seen those, there you go. Holy fucking shit! So he sent me the CD. So far, so noir. Holy hell, Justin. That's insane. These were going for like $100. Very, very hard to come by. Um, one of the more expensive CDs that I've been wanting to pick up. A lot of their other releases are more expensive, but I was really wanting this. If you guys haven't listened to this, go ahead, go check it out. You can look it up on YouTube, or I recommend buying the music. This is an old project. Everything, every song on this album is just absolutely fantastic. Here's the back. 
and we'll give you guys a little inside shot. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure. We've got a piece of cardboard, a piece of cardboard, and a piece of cardboard. Thank you for those, Justin. Greatly appreciate it. I'll be sure to do some arts and crafts with those. Now, here on the top is something I also purchased from him. This is another Trick or Treat Studios Papa 3. His appears to have much better paint than mine originally did. It seems to be pretty even, pretty filled out. The hair on it's not too crazy. Of course, it could still use more, but it seems like his has a better hairline. If you look at it from a side angle, you can see it actually does go at least a little bit more on the forehead, whereas mine was just a straight over punched mask. By the way guys, just to address something, I've contacted Trick or Treat Studios and they will be fixing this. They were never supposed to be sent out with this hairline. Uh, Chris got in contact with me and if you have one of these, be sure to email them and they will replace the mask for you. I'm not sure if you have to send it back or not, but you'll have to email them and find out and they will be doing replacements as well as the rest of the run will be fixed, so do not worry. Also, I just thought about this. A lot of people have been requesting a conversion video for these. Now, given that the hairline will be fixed on some, uh, I don't know if there will necessarily be a need for a conversion video, but if you still want one, I can go ahead and convert this for you guys. Be sure to like the video and go ahead and tell me in the comments below if you want me to do a conversion video, and I'll go ahead and get one done for you guys. You can even tell me which version you want to see. All right, I think he told me what this is. First things first here. Okay, well, I see one thing. Looks like we got a mummy dust. Oh shit, this is actually signed by Papa 3. So I expected it to just be a regular mummy dust, but I didn't think he would send me a signed one. I think I know what this is, just judging by the inside of the artwork. Go ahead and roll this guy out. Now, if this is what I think it is, I already have one. Uh, it's actually behind where the camera is currently. I got mine at my first show in Memphis last year. Yes, it is. It is the Cerise lithograph. But his is signed as well as being stamped by the ghouls. Now, mine wasn't. I'm number 664, and we picked ours up, and they were not signed or stamped. This is number 1176. And as you can see, it is signed and stamped. Now, he said he bought this like this at the show so I don't know if they started signing them and stamping them later or what really the deal was but mine never came with a signature or a stamp so that's pretty interesting to know let's see what else is in this bag we got a couple things in here alright so he also sent us a save two dollars on any five boxes of Velveeta shells and cheese or craft deluxe dinner uh, now I'll go ahead and show you guys the code in case you want to go ahead and redeem that yourself. You never know when you might need a good craft dinner. Save two dollars. Great deal guys. Great deal. And we appear to have a receipt for, this is Hy-Vee, I guess. <laughs> Employee owned. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see what uh, Mr. Justin bought. Kemp's Chalk Chip, Kemp's Van Ice Sand with TGIF Honey Barbecue Wings. Those are always pretty good. Let's see, Hormel Complete Chicken Alfredo, Chicken Mac, Teddy Graham Cinnamon, Teddy Graham's Honey, Sliced Apples from the Deli. Let's see, what is this? A Comp FRT tray. Uh, oh, a fruit tray, a complimentary fruit tray. Uh, see what you're doing here. Is a fruit tray in here? If there's a fruit tray in here, we just have it made. Let's see, Table Ready Broccoli, and the total amount was $38.77, and we do have his credit card number. So now we're gonna be some big spenders. All right guys, so here we have it. This is what I actually purchased. Other than the mask, this is what I knew was going to be in here. Very, very excited to see this. This item is the only one like it, and it is the only other copy I, can, I believe that can be made due to some of the materials not existing anymore and not being for sale. We're going to start unboxing the Unholy Grail, one piece at a time. First things first, on the very tip top is the miter. 
Now this is the Papa 3 Miter that is made by Scott Blake. As you guys know, I already own one. They're both fantastic as far as I can tell. All the same materials that were used to make Papa's actual one, the same exact type of materials. And there are a few differences between Justin's and mine, uh, more than just the size, whereas mine's a little bit bigger in case I want to wear it. And I think this one will fit me as well. His has this beautiful embroidered patch, whereas mine has a screen printed patch. Then if we look at the tailors, they also have a sewn edge. So they are layered fabric, whereas mine, I believe, is just one piece of fabric. But other than the patch and that, I don't think there are any differences. This is extremely accurate. I say just about as close as you can get to the real deal without owning the real deal. Just absolutely fantastic shape. Again, made from all the same materials. If you guys are interested in a Papa 3 Miter, you should be able to hit up Scott and he may be able to help you out. I'm not sure if he does them anymore. You'll have to contact him and ask. All right, so next up, there is a bag which contains, all right, these are the gloves. So as you guys know, Papa wears these fabulous, fabulous black gloves with golden press-on nails. Now these are replicas, the actual gloves that Papa wears, I know who makes them and I may be trying to obtain a pair. They are extremely expensive. We're talking triple digits and high in the triple digits, almost four digits. Um, so I don't know if it's worth it for a pair of gloves, but those are the ones that Papa wears. These are just replicas. We have the cast off. Wow, this is a lot heavier than I thought. Holy shit. So here we have the full cast off. Extremely, extremely high quality. As you can see, it has the zip up around the neck, just like Papa's actual cassock. Again, this is a very, very accurate costume. I believe the best to have ever been made and the best that ever can be made. Here we have the Golden Rings fabric. This stuff is really cool. It looks like metal and it even feels cold to the touch. We have this nice golden webbing. Again, this is, this, this golden webbing is not being made anymore. This is all there is left, essentially. It seems to have a certain other fabric layered behind it, but the outside layered fabric is not being made anymore. It hasn't been made for a while, and no more can be made. So this is it. And last but not least, wow, I'm really worried about like, pulling this out wrong. That is a sight to take in. Let's just turn that around for you. So this is the Papa 3 Chossable. Go ahead and take in the beauty of that detail. Again, extremely accurate. The same type of vestment that was used for the background. All of the charms handmade. The center fabric on this is also, again, not being made anymore. Extremely hard to come by. Come by. Nobody can ever find this. All of the patches are embroidered. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll spread it out so you guys can get a look. Alright guys, so there you have it. That was the Unholy Grail. Uh, it's pretty much one of the best things you can get in the ghost collecting world. Well, it's the only one that's certainly just like it. Big props to the artist. Scott, you did an amazing job on it. Uh, it's fantastic. I couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, I will be keeping it and I won't be wearing it. It will be only for display. I'm getting a mannequin for it. Huge thank you to Justin for selling it to me. You're the man, the myth, the hairy little man peach my love, and my stand. My next full costume I'll be doing is the white version of Papa One. No one has done it before, at least as far as I know. And so we're gonna do the full Opus costumes and get those coming to you guys. And for the next big collection piece, we're gonna try and get something stage worn. See you next time. 
Do you like horror films and merchandise? Well, go check out Terror Threads for all your collection needs. Whether it be phone cases, stickers, posters, masks, mugs, horror trading cards, or enamel pins, they have it all. Go check out their website using the link in the description below. Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Go ahead and click that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. See you next time.